Hello once again, I'm a most valued student. My name is Confident. We are continuing with this Mathematics N3 and this is the paper which is August 2023 or August 2023. All right, and we have looked at question number one in the previous video. So I will encourage you to grab hold of it. It was 19 marks. So now uh, let's focus on question number two. This was 11 marks, so it's not going to take long. So for x for each of the following equations, you have got 2.1.1. So what was special about this one? It's square root of 2x plus 1 plus 2 square root of 2x minus 1 all over square root of 2x plus 1 plus square root of 2x minus 1 plus x and they are saying this is equal to 1 how many marks was this again this was 4 marks so let's see what they wanted to bring here this is solving for x guys this is algebra but what you can simply do here okay let me just do it again put it here what we can simply do here the way i think is you just remind yourself that here when it says one it can be one over one you cross multiply this is one over one so this bottom here this bottom will multiply the top and this bottom here will multiply the top so you are just multiplying by one so at the end of the day you will have one one multiplying the bottom then it's flat so you will have the top and the top is what this one we are looking at the top now here it will be square root of I need to maintain my part is 2x plus 1 plus 2 square root of 2x minus 1 is equal to you see now 1 times what 2x plus 1 that changes nothing plus square root of 2x minus 1 and then plus x you see how it's like and then you can see things that are happening here this will cancel that square root of 2x but now take this one to the other side what do you have it's common terms it's 2 square root of 2x minus 1 minus square root of 2x minus 1 plus okay not plus x i think is equal to x are you with me so this is twice that this is a one so two minus one you are left with one which is square root you are left with that one 2x minus one is equal to x so usually they bring it like this and then they say so for x you see so what you simple do from here you square both sides you square both sides you square both sides that's how you get rid of the square root which is 2x minus one is equal to x squared you take everything to the right which is 0 is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 and then 0 is equal to that's where you do that bracket where you put your x you put your x you need to be good now we need a factors of 1 I think we have done is 1 and 1 to get minus 2 is minus minus therefore x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0 so you can see that x is equal to 1 twice do you see that apologies again for the noise as i said x is equal to 1 twice guys twice you can test your answer again you know how to test your answer you come here to test it's very important to test your answers guys test test here we said x is equal to 1 go here and put the value of 1 Put the value 2 times 1, 2 times 1, 2 times 1, and you put 1. It must give you a 1. Test. It's very important to test your answers. All right. Let me erase this. Go to the next question because of time. Logarithms. It says log base 3 of x plus is equal to 2, blah, 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 blah. But it was 5 marks. Let's look at this 5 marks. Was it worth 5 marks? Log base 3 of x is equal to 2 plus 15 log and then what do you have 
you have got log base x of 3. Now, when you've got three different bases, obviously, you know you must change one to the other. So, usually, I prefer to have the base as a number. I prefer this one. I prefer this one. So, change change to base 3. All right, there is a formula for that. Let's, let me ch check the formulas. There is a formula for changing bases. And the formula that you're going to use is this one. Yeah, for changing bases, uh, let me see. Yes, that's what is. This is the formula, which can link us to actually this formula. All right, those two formulas you must be very familiar with them in changing bases. So when I change a base, so what do I have? I have log. Okay, let me just maintain. It. It's log base x of three is equal to. I want to change to base 3 log base 3 of 3 over log base 3 of x. That's how you change. Which is equal to log base 3 of 3. You know that is 1 over log base 3 of x. Check again the formulas I said you must check. You will see that it's like that. They always give you something similar. So I've managed to change that. So if I take it back, what will this be? So let me now get more space here let's take this enough space so if i change that what will i have i will have log base 3 of x is equal to 2 plus 15 15 multiplied by 1 over log base 3 of x you see i've changed that base so now this is a fraction which I need to deal with. So in essence, I'm multiplying to get rid of that fraction. You must multiply everything by log base 3 of x. So, so that this goes. Are you with me? But here also, you multiply by log base 3 of x. What you do on the left, you do on the right. By log base 3 of x. You see that? So now what you have, you have got now two things. We have got log base 3 of x times log base 3 of x is equal to 2 log base 3 of x and then plus 15. Some they prefer me to write this like this log base 3 of x squared. They'll say why don't you say it's squared. I prefer it like this. I'll tell you why. So I, I usually use the k method to say let k be equal to log base 3 of x at this stage so that this is k this is k this is k so what will i have k times k that's where i have my now my k squared take this to the other side minus what 2k take this to the other side minus what 15 equal to 0 again back to Factorization. You see, factorization is always your guy. You've got your k, you've got your k. Here we need factors of 15, which is 1 times 15, which is 2, which is 3 times 5. So these are the ones. So you have got 3 and you have got 5. And then the factors, the bigger number is negative. This is positive. So this is what you have, you see. So here you can say k plus 3 equal to 0 or k minus 5 equal to 0. So what is your k? k is equal to negative 3. Here k is equal to 5. Then you take it back. Don't forget that you said let. You see, let. Let log base 3 of x be equal to k. So you come back and say log base 3, which is your k, log base 3 of x is equal to minus 3. So x is equal to take 3 there this becomes a base this is your base 3 to the power negative 3 and then x is equal to 1 over 3 cubed i think if you do the calculator is 1 over 27 or same thing log base 3 of x is equal to 5 x is equal to 3 to the power of 5 and then you get that with the calculator what is 3 to the power of 5 Guys, you can test these answers. So 3, exponent 5, 
is equal to 243. So that is our x. You can test these answers. You need to test them. So how do you test them? You come here where there is x here to the original. Where there is x, what do you put? You put the value, you put the value, it must, the left hand side must balance the right hand side. You get 5 marks. Alright. And then lastly, we go to 2.2. What is 2.2 saying? 2.2 is not long, it's just 2 marks. It says 16x minus 9y over 4x to the power of half plus 3y to the power of half and now i think the what i think i recognized was here you just do this you multiply by the difference of two squares you know more like an inverse 3y to the power of half if i do this but what i do on the left i must do on the right for x um to the power of half minus 3y to the power of half see when i do this remember if it's a difference of two squares you multiply the first and you multiply the last and then when you do that what are you gonna have you're gonna have 16x minus 9y and then you have 4x to the power of half minus 3y to the power of half over if I say 4 times 4, you see it's 16 x to the power half, x to the power half, half plus half. Remember exponents, it's x. And then after that, the other one is minus 3 times 3 is 9, y. You see, so that at the end, this cancels this and this becomes the answer. So guys, we have come to the end of our lesson where we are solving question number 2. Now I want you to stay tuned to the rest of the paper question three four five six we have come to the end of our lesson remember to subscribe thank you